Hello, welcome to the video tutorial of Redmine Entity Generator Plugin. It's a standalone plugin for Redmine, whose purpose is to allow users creating new plugins and entities using a quick and intuitive tool. In order to create a new plugin or entity, you must be an administrator. Go to Administration and select Redmine Entity Generator. A new entity form will open like here. Take a note that a new entity can only be created within an existing plugin, not separately. So the first thing is to select whether you prefer to create a new plugin or select one from the list of already existing plugins. In the first case, enter a name for the new plugin. Now each plugin must contain at least one entity, so you also have to enter the name for an entity right on this form. More entities can be added by clicking on Add Entity button down on the page. To remove the entity, just click on the button with trash icon as marked on the screen. For each entity, select which basic fields and additional fields it's supposed to have, such as name, author, project, a text field, date and time, etc. Moreover, choose what features the entity is supposed to have, such as whether it sends email notifications, allows attaching files, allows adding custom fields, or whether it's searchable. Finally, there's an option to add some associations to the entity, such as a project, task, user, or something else. When finished with the settings, click on Create button down on the page. After clicking on the Create button, the plugin has been generated but not installed yet. In Redmine, run the following command after generating a plugin. Afterwards, restart your server. Then you'll find the name of your plugin in the menu, like here, where we've already created one. Clicking on it will open the list of entities that have been created with the plugin. Now, additionally, use filters to see only selected entities in the list, or use options to select which columns you would like to see on the list. If you want to add a custom field into your newly created plugin, just go to Administration Custom Fields. Click on the New Custom Field button and then select the plugin name like here. Alright, that's it. Good luck!